Um. For the horde. Welcome back. So are they quest? They are. I have seen a bunch of 40 card questers. I have not watched Stranger Things yet, no. If you if you spoil it, I will permanent ban, permanently ban you and also hunt down you and your family. Just got matched against me and they get disconnected. I was what yeah, I got I crashed or whatever. It's kind of annoying. Canny is with the 12 months, one year. Ooh, we got ourselves a hype train. Woo choo choo. Sure. Illuminate in that deck. Hmm. Kind of surprising. Hey, Steimer. Thanks for continuing the gift sub. So I don't want to just coin out the light shower because they just get to drown on curve. I'm just killing this. Because they actually like have like some of their stuff that they want to play is like removal. I could easily see them having like a condemn or something. One thing that I can potentially do is set up, you know, obviously playing 40 cards of you know individual stuff. Um, but we could potentially uh, hook tusk them and steal the shard after they complete. Hey, not so bad, Andy. Thanks for the cheer. Come on, take a ride on the scam train. Oh yeah. I was not. A, I was never a big fan of Deep Red Engineer in my versions of Quest Priest before. It doesn't really hit key breakpoints for you. The only thing it really hits is like occasionally seven or like five, because like a lot of the a lot of the mechs are going to be like threes, which give you twos, which you already got with the deep run. So. Okay, that's kind of funny. Well. I mean, we can just crab a toe next turn, so we're gonna do this. We got the Plague Scientist to combo with it, so that might be our plan next turn, <laughs> depending on what happens. Mm hmm. Sure. Okay, they found a three. Alright, well. <laughs> We are just going to grab a Toa here and save this for, for more threatening stuff. Like, grab a Toa is just so powerful here. Um... Okay. Uh-huh. Advanced your quest. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we're just going to do this first. Welcome back. Yeah, they did get a mothership of the amalgam. Order. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out, like, so, would I rather have. I don't really have mechs for. The, I have Shadow Step, I guess. I'm just trying to think if I'd rather try and get, like, a 3 3 version of this or 3 3 version of this. And I have the one damage on him. The one damage doesn't really matter because I already passed the point where condemn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we are putting at the bottom of their deck, so they don't get any any uh, credit for it. It does not death rattle. I, th 
think I might just shadow step to buff to buff this guy and get another pirate. Yeah. Okay. Might want to swing with this and play this next turn. They still need to play a five. Whirlpool. Rude. Ha! Good thing all of my cards are singleton. Destroys nothing. Good day, sir. How often do you even draw your this with this deck? I mean, I've drawn it. I think most games I've played so far. Okay. And that was why I didn't play that earlier. I mean, they obviously... Um. Hmm. Sure. On spell, eh? Okay. That's unfortunate, but fine. Okay. Hey, Urbu, how you doing? How many pirates have I played? I'm trying. I'm just trying to think for Hook Tusk, like how close I am to. Let's take a look. We've played one, two, three, four, five. So we play Amalgam twice. Six, seven. I think we're basically oh, another Whirlpool. Okay. Sure. Huh. Why not poison and kill? Because I don't care. I'd rather I'd rather use this to kill something that I can't kill otherwise. I don't really want a copy of that with Vanessa. Don't want to play that because I actually want multiple swings of the weapon. Eh, whatever. Just in case. What do I think their hand is? Okay. They've already played both Whirlpools. They do have Condemns. I played one Condemn. They have a Condemn. They also have whatever they get off. This. Sure. Vanessa has been drowned. I think I'm just good at Finley. I may Scabs and then Finley. Yeah, I'm going to trade this. Hit you in the face. Play scabs. Play Finley. You can hero power into a three now. Oh, that was a discovered puffer fish, right? Okay. 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 Ah, uh, that does make sense as to what's in their hand. What I haven't played from uh, other classes. I can only think of play these two together with this, which is thirteen. I played light shower. Is it light shower the only thing? Oh, deliverance, right? All oh, right, the armor smith. I forgot about that part. Okay. Um. I am going to Wicked Stab their face, because I have Mr. Smite Vessel that I can play next turn for 12 burst. You got to restream LCS? No. That I am definitely not allowed to do. They have, like, co-streaming allowed for select people, but I am not, you know, I'm not one of those. This, this game, I think, by the way, is a very good example of why I think that playing 40-card Quest Priest doesn't make sense. Like... You're you're playing a deck that relies on hitting uh, hitting particular drops on its curve, and you're just making your deck 
less consistent. Granted, I'm over here playing, you know, Reno Rogue. So this is 12, 18, 19. We have exactly lethal. Boom. We remain undefeated with Reno Thal. Tess Pirate Rogue. I've yet to hook Tusk anyone. I was looking forward to it this game, but it never happened.